This is a universe of attraction, not a universe of exclusion. When you see something you want and say yes to it, you offer a vibration about it and you summon it to you. But when you see something that you don't want and you shout no at it, you offer a vibration that calls it to you. There is no such thing as no, go away from me in this universe of attraction. It's all your attention to it summons it. And so that's why our wish for you is that you could begin to practice the art of getting general enough. You might call it vague enough. We call it distance enough or far enough away from or less practical. We call it standing back far enough from it that the details that trouble you are out of your view while the advantages that it could offer you are in your view because a distant thought that gives you no negative emotion is a powerful thought that is improving your future experience but a specific practical thought that has you worried and staying up at night is a thought that doesn't have any advantage to you but you think it does because you're digging into something Esther bought a big house that sits on a hill in Utah it's sort of in the ski area big house and it has big things on top of it it has a couple of turrets looks like witches hats and it has a couple of bell towers you're getting the picture and on either end of it has big smokestacks that are artificial no smoke just stacks <laughs> and the smokestacks on one end of the house they were never supported properly inside the structure of the house and so they are blowing in the wind a little bit and causing a little structural damage to the roof a little bit and causing a little leak and Esther has been thinking about them but not very much until now it is a sort of critical thing so she called some people and they came and looked at it and they said yikes <laughs> need to deal with this fast and it's a big big thing it's a big renovation and it's going to call for some engineering You're gonna to have to punch a hole in the house you're gonna to have to bring cranes to the house they're gonna to have to bring big cranes to the house those smokestacks are really far up and when Esther thinks about it from her not engineering very limited she has never moved a smokestack in her life <laughs> point of view what do you think happens to her so easy to worry that could fall on someone it could cave in it could ruin the house it could cost a fortune it could it could it could it could and so she wrote a series of emails to the people that looked at it with her and what she really wants to know is is it better to take them down or is it better to shore them up what is the path of least resistance but from her not engineering limited point of view what do you think this exercise in attention to something that she feels responsible for what do you think it accomplishes within her energy what do you think it causes her to worry it causes her to fret it causes her to think worst case scenario it causes her to remember the look on their faces it causes her to see towering smokestacks falling into the neighbor's yard in other words it's so easy to negatively create around something so big so really really big something so big and so scary and something that we want to say to her Esther is not any of your concern there are people who know what to do tell them to do it so the conversation would go like this if we were standing in Esther's physical shoes see those smokestacks either take them down or make them stay whatever you think is best I'll be back in six months <laughs> that's it and then if Esther ever thinks of the house she should think of the house as whole and beautiful and well 
not smokestacks falling. You see what we're getting at? Something has made you and Esther believe that it's your job to get in the middle of everything, even things you don't understand. And you know what? Oh, we love you so much. You don't understand hardly anything. <laughs> You don't understand the law of attraction. You don't understand electricity. You know how to flip the switches. That's about it. Even those who have harnessed it don't understand it. You don't understand the inner workings of your bodies. Your doctors don't either. You don't understand how consciousness flows. There are just things that you just don't understand. You cannot get detailed enough to understand them. And you can't step back far enough to get the big picture on anything. And yet somehow you've assigned yourself the responsibility of knowing everything about everything. And then you come away from event after event feeling not up to the task. And you know what? You're not up to the task. It's not your job to figure out how law of attraction works. It's only your job to know that when you don't feel good in a thought, you're contradicting your own energy stream and you're not helping whatever it is that you want. Can we get you to stand back into a more general place? Can we get you to help Esther not worry about her house? Can we get you to a place where you can just trust that things are working out for you and that whatever you need will come into place? And can we convince you that if you will trust that, if you will know that, and if you will practice lighter feeling thoughts, less intense feeling thoughts, if you can train yourself away from worry and into fun, and then you want to shout, Abraham, that's where I started out. I knew I was right when I explained that to my mother. When I said, I don't want to do that. And she said, well, there's plenty of things you don't want to do that you're going to have to do. No, no. When you do things you don't want to do, you set up a cross current of vibration within you and you don't let the energy that creates worlds assist you in the way that it can if you'll be more light and easy about things if we can convince you to take a more general view of things but why is that hard for you well we know some of the reasons some of the reasons are because you have wanted to excel and so you've needed to compare yourself to others and the others seem really busy so you think you maybe should too the others are measuring themselves against each other and so you think you should too but you're not factoring in the intentions that you were born with the energy that creates worlds you're not factoring in how open your valve is you're not factoring in how clear your desire is you're not factoring in how much introduction of resistance that you've got going on right here and right now so this is sort of an orientation a reorientation about who you are we would like to convince you that you are so worthy that everything that you want can and is flowing to you but your worry is what's holding it up or your measurement of you against others is what's holding it up your doubt your fear now that doubt and that fear that anxiety all those things that are emotions those emotions are just indicators of your resistance but if you will start paying attention you see if you are able to quiet your mind like you do in meditation or if you are able to just let your mind wander into good feeling places like you do in daydreaming if you're able to allow your vibrational frequency to rise because you're not doing that thing you do that holds it into a resistant place then things that you want begin occurring to you and you get to be in on the hands-on movement and inspiration that looks like it's moving things along we would like to say to you in very bold and blunt terms and maybe a little loud because that's how Esther often interprets our bold and blunt things she speaks them loudly your action doesn't mean diddly squat your action is the way you enjoy the energy that you've lined up through your thought